All right, this is a series of seven cases, actually. Uh, I'm going to clip here for you. Um, it runs about nine minutes. But this is uh, a number, these are a number of cases I wanted to use to demonstrate the exquisite control power of the Stellaris FACO unit. I truly believe, um, having used so many other FACO units, this is, this is the, the most efficient FACO system available in the world today. And with the ability to do sub, sub two, uh, it makes it very, very special since you can really do true um, micro incisional surgery with this system. But this is a lens, it's just a rock. And you can see um, we've edited this quite a bit, but we're and we stop from time to time to put viscoelastic in to protect the corneal endothelium. But you can do cases like this with the Solaris um, and uh, have them come out close to 2020 the next day as long as you you know stop to use viscoelastic to protect the cornea. Exquisite control um, with the Stellaris unit. And um, here's the end of that, uh, this first uh, case. And you can see how nice the cornea looks. With the Stellaris and also the Millennium, I've never had a wound burn uh, in probably f close to 50,000 cases. Um, and uh, when the Millennium, while well, the Millennium was absolutely superb, the Stellaris is even better. This is another uh, dense lens. This is a patient on Flomax. We're using clips. And again, you can see the, the, the great control we have. When we're doing these very, very dense lenses, the key thing is just, I, I do phaco flip. The key thing is all about controlling the nucleus. And we eat the lens kind of like an apple. That's the way David Brown taught us. You eat it from the periphery, uh, which is softer, getting down towards the, the central uh, uh, core of the lens and when we get down to the very center what we'll often do we might be actually in this case right now we go into sub mode 3 which is a continuous FACO mode that just lets you go through we've never had to uh, take our uh, FACO handpiece out because of uh, it being clogged I know this was a real issue with us when we're um, trying to do these cases with um, other FACO systems um, and again, you know, in all the years we've been doing FACO flip and FACO on lenses like this, we've never, never, ever seen a wound burn. That case ended nicely also. This is another uh, patient on Flomax, also with an dense lens. And again, we uh, only used uh, four clips in this uh, patient's uh, procedure. But uh, again, we're careful to coat the corneal endothelium. And we use Viscoat. Viscoat is our preferred viscoelastic for dense lenses. I, I think it provides the, the, the best protection in these cases um, in my hands. And again, we're just uh, gradually taking um, the lens material out, um, carouseling the material, uh, the lens uh, around uh, so that there's no, no um, sharp edges coming up hitting the, the cornea at any time. It's all done at the Irish Plain, as uh, David Brown uh, taught all of us who um, adopted his technique of FACO flip. But you can see how gently um, this is being removed, and this is really a dense lens. At the very end of um, dissembling a nucleus like this, these are the pieces you have to be most careful of. You don't want to. Um, going uh, high power, you want to be very low power, so you keep the, the small pieces at the FACO tip and uh, minimizes um, any turbulence in the front part of the eye. And here the, the lens is in place, and it's another um, beautiful ending to a pretty challenging case. This um, next case um, is a case perhaps we should have used um, iris clips on but did not, chose not to, and you can see there's a little bit of um, iris bounce. Uh, Flomax patients can be challenging, um, and uh, sub um, two incisions, I think, a sub two millimeter incision for this case would have made this a little bit safer. There would have been less iris movement, um, but again, we're dealing with a very dense lens and just using viscoelastic to try to maintain the viscoat will also push the pupil out each time and give us a little more dilation. But you see how the pupil keeps trying to come down um, as we do this. And again, you can see the little bounce of the iris uh, due to the impact of Flomax on the, on the, um, the iris. Again, the key is just to uh, work on the lens from the periphery, um, working down to a small, a small 
uh, dense central core. And once we get to that point, uh, we'll put the, the um, Stellaris on uh, sub mode 3, which is continuous FACO, and um, conclude our case. And we're just about to the point where we're getting down to the very last of this lens. It just has to be done gently and patiently. Big thing is never to rush these cases. That's how you get into trouble. Um, but you can do these cases really safely with um, by just taking your time. And I think, again, the Stellaris system is important because you don't want to get a wound burn. And this is the conclusion of that case. You can see how the pupil did come down. This is another very dense lens. Again, demonstrating the exquisite power of the Stellaris system. Uh, don't I just would not even want to begin to attempt uh, taking these lenses uh, or removing these lenses with a different FACO system. Uh, and again, I think that David Brown's um, FACO flip offers a, a real advantage in that you're uh, able to do the softer part of the lens slowly and just gradually continue by continuing to carousel the lens around. You work the lens. Uh, gradually to the point where you get to this small central center and, um, and again it can be used or the Stellar system can be used in that uh, continuous uh, FACO mode to help expedite or um, more rapidly remove the the very um, densest part of the, the cataract. Here we're down to this very small plate and again low power you want to keep the material. Don't want it to shoot away from the tip. You want, really want um, low power to keep uh, the material as close to the tip as possible. But again, the uh, use of viscoat really protects these corneas. They do quite well. This is another extremely dense lens, and we're showing this again just to to demonstrate the power of the Stellaris unit. It's really good to look at that. Um, look at look at the incision throughout each of these cases. You can go back and look over the incision. You'll see there's never even a hint of a wound burn and we are definitely dealing with the, the, the most dense lens um, most of us will uh, have to deal with. And again, we, when we're pausing there, it's just to put viscoelastic in. We pause several times. Some of these cases are so dense, we'll go through two cases or two vials of uh, viscoat. And um, the the big thing is at the end of the procedure, uh, once you're finished, to make sure that you have the viscoelastic out. And we're careful to do that, and we typically don't see any uh, spikes. We actually um, will give our patients, unless they have a sulfa allergy, we'll give them. Um, a drop of Travitan at the conclusion of all our cases and give them uh, 250 of Diamox before they leave the the uh, ASC. But again, another dense ca uh, cataract. And you can see, again, the control that we have with this Stellaris system. This is uh, edited but not sped up in any way. So you're just seeing you know, a normal case as it progresses. And again, look at the look at the wound and check out that there's uh, just no suggestion of any um, heat issues at the wound. Uh, and I, again, I would challenge other systems to be able to, to do this routinely. We do a lot of dense cat cataracts like this um, here in southeast Florida. And there's uh, the lens in place. Another nice ending to a pretty challenging case.